evening, everyone. Welcome to our uh, Sunday School Christmas Program Worship Service. It's going to be a wonderful time. Uh, the phrase controlled chaos occasionally comes to mind, but it'll be wonderful. The kids are always great. So, a couple announcements. I'm doing the announcements on most of the stuff today here. We're glad you are worshiping with us. Uh, I'm going to skip some of these because I can. Thank you to the Zion Lutheran uh, women for sponsoring our radio broadcast. The flowers are from uh, the funeral of Meta Vetter that was here yesterday, so thanks to her family for sharing these beautiful arrangements. Today is the last day to get your Tree of Saints uh, ornaments. Cost is five bucks per ornament. They will be displayed on our Tree of Saints in the back of the sanctuary through the end of the Christmas season, starting this week. Um, so we've got the main part of the service today is going to be the uh, Sunday School program. Uh, so no sermon, but following the program, we'll still do communion and the offering and most of our regular stuff. Uh, please uh, stay and then enjoy the fellowship and the meal. The ladies have a wonderful meal ready for us, to, uh, so head in there when we're done. Uh, remove the table of plenty. It has to move because of uh, the you know New Year's Day and Christmas Day. So the table of plenty is this Thursday. It's usually on a Monday. It's this Thursday from uh, 5.30 to 7. So the meal is ham, mashed potatoes, uh, gravy, the dinner roll, corn, yum, yum, yum. And they're asking for the congregation's help in bringing desserts. So if you're able to bring a dessert, you can sign up on the table in the narthex and drop your dessert off uh, Thursday around noon. If you'd like to bring a poinsettia plant, is it pronounced poinsettia or poinsettia? I, you know, it's one of those questions that keeps me awake at night. If you'd like to bring a plant to help beautify the sanctuary for Christmas Eve worship, please be sure to do so. By the end of the day on Thursday, there is one more week until Christmas, so we are doing uh, Advent uh, informal Holden Evening Prayer Worship on Wednesday. So that is, uh, supper is 5, uh, I knew I forgot something. Supper is 5.15 till 6. The uh, Advent worship is uh, 6.05, and it usually takes half an hour, 40 minutes, so join us if you can. Next Sunday is Christmas Eve. We're doing 9 o'clock regular worship time, but the whole 9 o'clock service and the 4 o'clock service will both be Christmas Eve with candles and, and just like you'd have it on a, on a night Christmas Eve service. So if you want to come in the morning while it's still light outside, you'll still get a Christmas Eve worship. Or if you'd like to wait till 4 o'clock, that'll be a Christmas Eve worship as well. So that's next Sunday, okay? So we are going to now do the uh, first verse of the first Noel while we have the family come and light three candles on the Advent Road, okay? We'll begin with our song.
the very early days in the community of faith, shepherds were special. So special, in fact, that in his dying words, Jacob blessed Joseph, saying, The God before whom my ancestors, Abraham and Isaac, walked, has been my shepherd all my life to this day. If God shepherded his people, is it any wonder that he chose shepherds as the first visitors to the manger? Whom would he choose to be the godparents of his son than those who followed in his footsteps? Please join in the responsive readings that can be found on the screens. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields. The shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place. So they went with haste, leaving the ninety-nine on the mountains. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The God of peace brought care of the dead. O Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep. We will continue with the second verse of hymn number 300, the first Noel. One, two, three. Please stand as you're able. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who opens the heavens and draws near to us with salvation. Amen. God is patient and merciful, desiring all to come to repentance. Trusting this promise of grace, let us confess our sin. Everlasting God, you love justice and you hate wrongdoing. We confess the fear, greed, and self-centeredness. We are complicit in systems of exploitation. We choose comfort over courage. We are careless with creation's part. Look upon us with mercy. Turn our hearts again to you. <clears throat> Make us glad to do your will and to walk in your ways. For the sake of our waiting world. Amen. Hear these words of assurance. God clothes you with garments of salvation and covers you with robes of righteousness. In the tender compassion of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. God's covenant is eternal and God's blessing rests upon us all. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. We continue with our song of praise.
Let us pray together. Stir up the wills of your faithful people, Lord God, and open our ears to the words of your prophets, that anointed by your spirit, we may testify to your light. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated. Our first reading is from Genesis. The Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man. He took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. And the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to the man. Our second reading is also from Genesis. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other wild animal that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, did God say, you shall not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees in, in the garden. But God said, you shall not eat from the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden nor shall you touch it, or you shall die. But the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden, but the serpent said to the woman, you will not die, for God knows that when you eat it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was to to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. And she also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you to not eat? The man said, the woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. Then the Lord, Lord God said, See, the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. Would you stand as you're able for the Holy Gospel? The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the first chapter. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, all things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you may be seated. We will now have our Sunday School program.
All right, is this better? Yeah. There we go, okay. So I'll ask you guys again. Did you guys get any, or are any presents under your Christmas tree? Yeah? Have you guys wrapped any presents? Yeah, okay. Well, I'm sure you guys have noticed that there's a bunch of presents over here. We're gonna open them one at a time. Um, so everyone gets a chance to see what is inside each gift. And I think we'll sing some Christmas songs too, right? Okay. Well, there is a number on each gift so that we'll know when to open each gift. Are you guys ready? All right, let's get started. So, Hudson, how about you go ahead and open the first package? What is it? It's an angel. Who knows what an angel is? a messenger from God. Very good. Okay. That's right. So God sent an angel when he has something important to tell us. Maybe we better open the next gift to see what's inside. Luna, want to open your gift? Okay, show us what's in your package. So it's a picture of a young woman and a message to go with it. Let's hear the message. interesting. Let's check it out. It looks like an important letter. By order of the emperor, a count of all the people shall be taken. Everyone must go to his own city of birth to be counted. There shall be no exception. For days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all of the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own town to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth to, in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. All right, let's open the next package. Carter, would you get gift number four? Since Joseph had to travel to his hometown for the count, Mary traveled with him. They took a donkey along so Mary could ride on the donkey. They traveled to a small town called Bethlehem. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the end. What's a manger? A, a manger is a place where food was placed for the animals to eat. There were lots of people in Bethlehem, so Mary and Joseph had to share a space with the animals. The donkeys, sheep, goats, and cattle were brought inside at night for protection. That was the only space left for Mary and Joseph. This would be a good time to sing Away in a Manger. We will all sing the first verse, then everyone else can join us for verse two.
Do you guys see all the packages with the number five on them? It's time to open those. You guys know what that is? It's what the shepherd would wear on their heads. You guys can put them on. Can anyone tell me what a shepherd is? Yes, shepherds watch their sheep herd. So the shepherds stay out in the fields at night with their sheep during the night so that nothing bad would happen to their sheep. They didn't get to town much and probably didn't get to take baths very often, so they were probably kind of a smelly group. But the shepherds were very important on the night that Jesus was born. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see... I am bringing you good news of jo great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. Why don't we open the next group of gifts? So look for the, look for the gift with the number six on them. It looks like angel halos, so you guys, you girls can go ahead and put those on. And suddenly there, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those who he loves. Now we're going to sing Angels We Have Heard on High.
the Christmas story doesn't end there, does it? No. Let's hear what the Bible says what happened next. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has now has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. The angel told the shepherds that there would be a sign so that they would know what he said was true. Let's open the next gifts. Well, that looks kind of strange, doesn't it? It's just some pieces of cloth. What do you think it is? It's a sign the angel was talking about. He said, you will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. What did the shepherds do after they saw the baby Jesus? The Bible tells us that shepherds told Mary and Joseph and whoever else they saw what the angel had told them about finding this special baby. Then the Bible says that they returned to their flocks of sheep, thanking and praising God for their special part in all of this. There's still one more present left to open. Can I open it? It looks like the best gift ever, Jesus. Let's stand up and sing a song that helps us tell everyone about how happy we are that Jesus is the best gift ever. Now we'll sing Joy to the World.
for the kids. You guys can be seated. I've got a hand for the kids. Nice job, give me five. Give me five, 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 give me five. Good job, give me five, give me five. Give me five. Good job. Let's open up. It's right on there. My friends, the peace of the Lord be with you always. So you can stand if you want, turn around, shake hands, wave to people, whatever you want to do to pass the peace. given through the cross of Jesus Christ. Please consider your gift to Zion that will strengthen our ministry and mission together for the sake of all in need of hearing of Christ's love and grace for them. You can give online, in the mail, or in person here today. Children can come forward. Is there a box over there for the kids? There usually is. So thank you for your gracious gifts. So we will do the offering and have a song. stand as you're able. Let us pray together. God, our provider, by your merciful hand, abundance springs up from the earth. 
receive and bless these gifts of your own bounty. Let them be a sign of your steadfast love and faithfulness for all people. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Each of us is broken by sin and less than God has created us to be. But that does not disqualify us from being touched by God and serving God in any capacity, large or small, broken as we are. God uses broken things. It takes broken clouds to give rain, broken ground to give grain, broken bread to give strength. In the night on which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the forgiveness of sin in memory of me. Let us pray in confidence the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In this meal, righteousness and peace meet together. Come take your place at the table. You may be seated. Just a couple words. Uh, we believe in open communion. Any Christian is welcome to commune. You do not have to be a Lutheran to do that. So if you're a Christian, no matter what denomination you belong to, you're invited. Okay, I'm looking for Brent. Uh, we, we need one more communion assistant, whoever would like to come up and help. We, we need one more. We have uh, gluten-free wafers for those who need gluten-free. Um, parents of kids, if the kids are going to commune, if they would cup their hands, that would be fine. If they're going to get a blessing, just have them do this. Okay? All right. Well, here comes Brent.
Would you please stand as you're able? And I may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which you've received, strengthen you and keep you unto eternal life. Amen. Let us pray together. Generous God, in bread and cup, for all people to see together, nourished by this meal, send us out to proclaim your good news of liberation and release, brought to birth in Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The God of peace bless you. The love of Christ sustain you in hope, and the anointing of the Spirit remain upon you now and forever. So let's have the, the family, kids and your parents and your teachers, you can head out to the fellowship hall right now. So instead of, oh, I knew that. All right. So be seated for the final song. Never going to listen to that song the same way again. All right. Kids, kids and teachers and your families, you can, I guess, go down, head out. We'll see you in the fellowship hall. So, go in peace. Keep awake. Thanks be to God. And now it's food time.